live look at Tybee Island. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to be there right now. Sunrise, not too far from now, about 20 minutes. You already got some folks gathering. You can almost need the sunglasses just looking at this shot on TV because it is such a bright start to the day. Clear skies outside hot already even though the sun hasn't came up low 80s out at the coast feeling like it's in the mid 80s we got a light breeze out at the coast and that's really one of the only places you're going to have that breeze today it's going to be a, another calm day now winds will be picking up in fact we've got a breeze coming in late day into tomorrow and that ocean that looks so calm right now tomorrow it'll be a little bit windier outside thanks to a cold front you heard me right i said cold front it's going to be feeling a little bit more comfortable but the trade-off we don't get to keep those clear skies. I think a lot of folks are ready to get rid of the heat though. It's in the low 80s, low 70s out west, but as you can see, it is stifling to start the day. Now these summer like temperatures, the hottest day we have seen so far this year was June the 30th when we hit 99. Yesterday we hit 98, today more of the same, upper 90s. Last time we hit 100, if you were wondering, August the 10th of last year. So it has been a while, but we're still gonna be hot. So if you're thinking about heading out to the beach, you need to know Riptide Risk is low right now. That surf not too bad now, but it's going to be increasing as those winds are going to be increasing late today into tomorrow. High tide it is at 1038 a.m. and low tide 513. You'll have a little more real estate out there on that beach. Keep the sunscreen right by you. I like to keep it in the ice chest. That way when you go to put it on, it gives you a nice little cool down because you're going to want a cool down with all this heat. Upper 90s, those storms start to come in late day with that front. Some of them could be strong. We're talking some strong winds and some hail possibility. Tomorrow we keep the scattered storms around and by Monday that sea breeze is going to cause more storms to start to pop up. But look at what happens to the temperatures with that front. 90s today, upper 80s, almost 10 degrees cooler tomorrow. Not too shabby, right? There's that clear radar and there is that front we are tracking. You see those showers starting to pop up with it. And as you take a look at Futurecast, those clouds increase by this afternoon and then bam, here's the storms. Some, like I said, strong and not just during the afternoon hours, but overnight we'll have the storms out at sea. And then tomorrow we're gonna keep those scattered showers all over the forecast as well. Now out at sea, that is going to, like I said, start to get a little bit rougher over tomorrow. And today, some of those storms could be a little rough. It's only at a 30% chance of seeing a shower. It's going to be very scattered, but those winds and hail potential will be there. Tomorrow, it's the cooler temperatures, Ashley. You have to have that umbrella handy, and it's still going to feel a little sticky, but it will be much cooler. Now, we are tracking some activity in the tropics as well. We'll have more about that coming up here in about five minutes, Ashley. Well, thank you so much. Well, many are calling it